and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about continuing on to a painting that you thought was finished, but you know, I had such a good time in the last video clip that I wanna continue on this one. And if you remember the name of this painting and collage is uh, a little bird told me. That was the name, that was the title of the painting. So what I'm gonna do here on this video, since I had such a great time on the last one, I wanna continue on to have this fun and paint this image uh, using more collage paper and certainly get it back to the colors that I want it to be. So let's get started and here we go. So let's get back to the painting, painting. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is getting the colors back. The colors are going to be basically dominant blue focal point, this orange, all right? And then the two spice colors, this hot pink and this, this green. Those will be the colors I'm gonna use. So have that on the side here. The composition will be the Kusa form. Remembering that the title again was The Little Bird Told Me. So the birds over here, I'm gonna give the guy a big coat. He's like a magician, part of my magic series. So I've already started some collage. I'm gonna add some more collage just to add mystery to the magic man. And it doesn't really make logical sense, but if it looks visually exciting and mysterious, that's the way I like to have this painting go towards. Okay, having the colors already out, buckets of paint. My gel medium is my glue. Just regular gel medium is the glue. It's all acrylic, so I'm going to add some more paper right now, okay? This is just paper and designs that I've made myself that way, and then I Xerox it. That way I have ownership, so I make my own patterns. Plenty of gel medium, the glue. I use lots and lots of glue, really thick. It kind of avoids getting those bubbles. If you're getting bubbles, that means you're probably not using enough glue. There we go some more. Just add some visual excitement. This is that fire in the belly I'm talking about all the time. It's that passion. And notice I'm painting at arm's length, too. I like to stand back and see the whole thing. But you see the composition still working that way? Wow. These are the little surprises I like to put in. Let's go. I think we have all the busy areas. Um, this is going to be the busy area. This will be the simple area. We'll really make it more busy. There we go. All right, now, I'm using the same brush, glue. It's all acrylic. I use the same stuff. And let's go into Magician's head. This is the bird giving him a secret. Get some blue up inside here now. Whoa! Wow. It's crazy. I love it. Magician has a blue face. The blue and the bird pulls it all together. Right? Oh, cool. Look where all this is going. Mm hmm. I'm going to lighten up the background a little bit. Too blue, too soft. So I'm adding some darker colors. More neutral, it's just too, too pastelish. 
Yeah, this is a better blue. Really toned down. All right, making it simpler. Oh, there we go. Whoa. See, now you can see the bird. Magician's ear is whispering in his ear. That's the whole idea here. There. Oh. Cool. Simplify that area. Really simplify it. Don't like that red there. like he was damaged or something there. Uh, red had to be careful. I want that texture there, but not to draw too much attention to itself. Wow. Scraping. I love drawing back into it. I love drawing. Again, don't give the viewer the, all the pieces of information like this one here. Wow, I like all that's going on in here. I'm going to stop right now. I really like where it is. I'm so glad I had a chance to revisit uh, a painting that I did the last week on the last video here. I like it so much better. It's intriguing. It has a wow factor. It makes you stop and look at it for a while. You see, I certainly painted with an awful lot of fire in the belly, a lot of passion. Show the viewer how much fun it is to be a painter, not how complicated it is. Well, at least that's what I like to do. And that helps me when I do a during a show. Well, anyway, that's it for me. And I'm Bob Burridge, and I hope you really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed it because I got a painting out of this one. So I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and I'm inviting you to my next Riverboat Cruise painting workshop hosted by the Dillman's Resort. Guess where I'm going? Stay tuned. So this exciting Riverboat Cruise is next spring. Okay, so stay tuned here. And it's from Amsterdam to Belgium, going into the Netherlands. Oh my gosh, all those castles and those historic cities and history. Uh, we're gonna be relaxing and painting on location, not heavy duty painting, but light sketching, colorful pencils and things like that. Then back on our boat, small boat. No, it's a small boat, not one of these giant cruise ships which I love so much, we get personal service. And we're gonna be with all the masterful museums. We're talking Van Gogh, Rembrandt, Vermeer, and all those other wonderful early painters that we love so much. Now we get to go and paint in the tulip fields, the same place as they were, and all of the landscapes. We're gonna be doing landscapes and florals, as you see behind me, different styles, but mostly we'll be touring castles, painting in the fields, and go where all the other famous painters have gone before us. Just think, masterpiece, and all in the Netherlands with all those great painters. So I love this boat cruise, it's small. I love it, we did it before, the same boat cruise that we went up in Paris last year. Thank you, Dillman's, you did a great job. So great, we're gonna do it again. And a lot of people are starting to sign up because it is an exciting place. I've always wanted to go there and paint. I hope you can join us. Check out the information at the end of this and I'll see you in the Netherlands.